Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Saren. I do beauty reviews, makeup vlogs, and all things beauty on this channel. If that's something you would like to see, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I would love you guys to join this little community we have going on here. So today I'm going to be doing another brand review and today it's going to be Tower 28 and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys and showing you this look. So if you're interested in how this goes, then make sure you keep on watching. I want to talk about a brand called Tower 28. Now, I don't know why I never made a video about this because I've been using and trying out their products for the last year or so. Started by Amy Liu. She has worked in the beauty industry for over 15 years and noticed that there were a lot of ingredients that were in beauty products that were not safe for sensitive skin types. And she launched her own brand based on the needs of people with sensitive skin. I realized over the years that my skin type is super duper sensitive. Back in 2019 or late 2018, I was suffering from really bad acne. And she reached out when her brand was about to launch and gave me her first product, which is the Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Help heal acne, breakouts, eczema, dermatitis, sunburn, skin irritation. And she reached out. I told her about my skin concerns and she guaranteed that this spray was going to work for me. And we stayed in touch over the weeks and it took actually quite a bit of time before my acne started to subside. A lot of things were in factor of that. I was under a lot of stress. This product I swear by, I actually gifted a second bottle of this as it was a reward on Super Great. And they also came up with a clear highlight, which I, I don't have. And I really like an editorial highlight, but at the time I had a lot of those. So I gave it to my cousin because she really likes that dewy, non-glittery highlight, which I, totally get. So I decided to give it to her. So she really likes it. And that's all I really had to say about that. Don't have any like complexion products or eye products. I'm going to quickly just put my base on and my eyebrows so that we could talk about the rest of the product. All right. So I'm back and I have my complexion on. So I went for something really natural so that everything that I do talk about with Tower 28 is on the same natural aesthetic okay so the first product i'm going to talk about is their blush so this is called the beach please luminous tinted balm this is meant for your cheeks and your lips and i have all the shades i just um, i don't know where my other shades are but this is the shade magic hour this is probably the most popular out of all of the other shades i do like this on my cheeks but i don't really like it on my lips because it's just a little bit pale Maybe I'll put some on my lips. I don't know. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> no. When I used to use the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek, the shade that I really like to use is uh, a shade called Work. I actually have it right here. It's like a neutral pink color. I love it on my cheeks. I just don't love it on my lips. It's just my lips are really pigmented and they just don't really work together in that way. So it's supposed to give you like this dewy glow as well as healthy color on the skin. And that's exactly what it gives. It feels really good on the skin. It's never broken me out. The only thing is I know if I really love a product, if I grab it more often, if you know what I mean, like it seems a little too dewy. For some of a normal to dry skin, I would totally, totally recommend this it's a beautiful product it's just not something that i just don't i just don't see myself reaching for so tower 20 also gifted me their bronzino illuminating bronzer and this is in the shade best coast they have two different shades they're both like quite similar i picked the darker out of the two because i like the undertones of that on my skin tone it's also got some sheen to it. I'm trying to use this as kind of like a baked bronzer type of thing. But again, it has that kind of same dewiness as the cream blush. This bronzer you can use on your eyelids and on your lips and cheeks pretty much everywhere. I'm just going to take a little bit and spread it all over my eyelid. And I think this shade is really pretty. 
I feel like I'm nearsighted. So when I looked in my mirror, I noticed that I didn't blend things all the way. So just make sure that you are blending all the way. Now I feel like I have to set everything. I don't want to use a translucent powder. I have my Kosas Color and Light Palette in Contra Chroma. I just want to pat it just a little bit. And I just want to swatch what this looks like on my lips. I don't know if I like <laughs> I don't know if I like that. It feels really good on the lips. It just feels like it's aging me a little bit. It's not bad. I feel like because I have a lot of texture on my lips, this isn't really ideal for me. I think what I could do is throw some gloss over it just to, you know, top it all off. I have the color Magic, which is this shimmery gold color. I saw Allure gave them the award for best lip gloss formula, which I thought was really cool. And what I like about this formula is that it's not sticky. It's very comfortable to wear. I'm gonna swatch on Magic and then I'll swatch on XOXO after. I guess that looks nice together. I still feel the same way about this lip color though, I thought maybe I might like it a little bit more after my eyes were pretty much finished. But I want to go back to the bronzer since we're speaking about it now. So there have been some conversation around Tower 28's bronzers since the Black Lives Matter movement. They have this shade and then there's a lighter shade. There's only these two. So there's talk about how there isn't a shade for deeper skin tones. Yeah. With that being said, R28 has received feedback, has responded to that feedback in a very mature way. From this point on, I would just, I'm just going to sit back and watch what they do. I'm going to try magic one more time. So I really hated how the bronzer in this, I really like how it feels. It feels really good. I don't really know how to explain this, but I really like when a formula is thicker and does something for my lips. I don't hate this formula. I really like the way it feels. I definitely feel that it's doing something good for my lips. But as like a finished makeup look, this isn't what I reach for. All right, so now I'm going to try the other shade and this is called XOXO and it's like a pink berry shade. I actually really like the shade. This isn't something I don't normally reach for a bright pink. I still feel the same way about the formula. I, that's my honest opinion. I'm so sorry. The other thing I noticed about the bronzer, which I totally forgot, is that stuff like wipes off my face so easily. I feel like I have to constantly put more and more and more and more. So that's all I had to say about Tower 28. And I hope I wasn't too harsh on them. So if you enjoyed this honest review on Tower 28, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye